Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Farm Bubba channel. Now, if you're new to Farming Simulator 22 and you just want to get started super fast, then you're in the right place. Now, stay tuned to the end of this video and I'm going to share one of the ways to make money in Farming Simulator to expand your farm or just upgrade some equipment or whatever you want to do. So if you're ready, let's get started. When you first load up the game, you're going to land on this screen right here. We're going to cover these other menus in a future video, but for now, we want to get started super fast. So just click on career. You've got empty slots here. Just choose one. Hit continue. New farmer is the fastest, easiest way to get started. So hit continue again. Elm Creek is the American map that is preloaded into the game. We're going to start with Elm Creek, so just click continue. It'll take a minute or two for the game to load up and then we'll be ready to go. Lower left hand corner is our start button, so click there and we're brought to the character screen. Now here on the character screen, you can use these attributes here on the left to design your character to your liking. I'm not sure where this guy came from, but at any rate, whenever you finish your character, just click on confirm down here and you're brought to the welcome screen. There is a short guided tour that you can take, but we're going to skip that for now because we are going to cover all of that information in the next few minutes. Now, if you're playing on a console such as a PlayStation or an Xbox, you're going to be navigating with your controller, obviously. If you are on a PC or a laptop like I am, then you're going to be using your keyboard and the mouse. Now on the keyboard, of course, your WASD keys are going to do a lot of your basic navigation along with your arrow keys to look around and move around. In the upper left hand corner, you'll see the controls menu that will guide you through your navigation process. Let's go ahead and step off the porch and take a look around. This is our farm. We have a field in front of us here. It looks like it's ready for harvest. We have a barn with a little silo. We have a silo complex. We've got a workshop and a garage, and we have our farmhouse. We also have some equipment on our new farm. The big green machine here is a combine harvester, or just referred to as a combine for short. We also have this John Deere tractor, the second John Deere tractor. Our third piece of equipment is a Massey Ferguson tractor. No farm is complete without a pickup truck, so here's ours. We also have a few other pieces of equipment. This trailer here in the foreground, and that little green piece of equipment back there is a header trailer for our header that goes to our combine. Let's start out with some basic navigation. Our WASD keys. W for forward, S for moving backwards, A moves us to the left, D moves us to the right. We also can use our arrow keys to look to the right, look to the left, look down, look up. So as we move closer to the tractor with the W key, we see in the upper left hand corner, E for enter vehicle. So now we're in the vehicle. If we use our C, C is in Charles, that gets us inside the vehicle where we can still look around, up, left, down. Hit our C key again to get out of the vehicle. We can still move around. You can also use your mouse to move around a little more smoothly and use your scroll wheel to zoom in or zoom out. Now, if we look just above the controls menu, you see the little tractor icon up there. If we use our G key, G is in George, you can see, looks like lights flashing on there, but that is just toggling between the rear piece of equipment and the front piece of equipment. So that we can work with both of those pieces there and either use our V key to lower and raise. We go back to the G key for the piece of equipment on the back. We can lower and raise that. So let's just pull forward, get into the field a little bit. We will hit our V key to drop the piece of equipment down. And now let's move forward. Try to navigate in a straight line as possible. Uh, easier said than done a lot of times. 
But once you get some practice with it, it's not that difficult to do. We will stop at the end of the field here. All right, let's get turned around, pick our piece of equipment up, get lined up again, drop the equipment, and let's just drive as straight a line as we can again. Now, if we stop here for just a second, look up at our menu, and we see H for Hire AI Worker. So we hit our H key, and our AI Worker hops in the cab and takes over. Now the AI worker will work this field for us while we go do other things. So we'll let them work on that and we will hit our tab key and that will tab us through from one piece of equipment to the other. So we tab over into this piece of equipment, which is our cedar, and we'll get started with it. So let's hit Q to attach. It picks up the weight. We hit Q again. That picks up our cedar on the back. Okay, let's pull forward into the field just a little bit. We'll stop right there. Let's move around to the back here. Now we need to turn on the cedar first. Hit our B key. Lower the cedar down with our V as in Victor key. And let's just go ahead and hire a worker right off the bat. H will hire a worker for us. And we'll let them take over. They're going to keep working until they get our field completely sown with seed. So he finished that first row. He's turned around. Now he's headed back down to finish sowing the rest of the field. We will go ahead and jump into our next piece of equipment, which is going to be the harvester. Pull forward just a tad and let's attach that harvester. Q key. We need to unfold the harvester with the X key. We turn the harvester on with the B key. And then here again, we'll go ahead and just hire a worker right off the bat. Hit the H. And our worker hops in and starts working for us. Now we've tabbed over into our Massey Ferguson. We hit our Q key to attach our wagon to it. We hit the N key to uncover it. And what we're going to do is we are going to drive alongside of this harvester and unload some of the grain on there. Now, two ways to either do it. You can either drive alongside the harvester and match the harvester speed, and it will fill our wagon with wheat, or we can wait until the harvester gets finished or it gets full, and then it stops. Then we can pull alongside and unload the wheat. What we're going to try to do now is pull alongside, try to match the speed of the harvester. There's an easier way to do that that I'll talk about a little later, but you can see the pipe comes out automatically. And we just sort of match that speed and it unloads the grain for us. A little tricky to do without setting a cruise control, but I will show you how to do that a little bit later on. One thing we've not talked about just yet is how to fertilize a field. We need to fertilize a field, but we currently do not own a fertilizer. If we hit our P for Paul key, that brings us into the shop menu. If we tab down here to this icon there, we can see all of the equipment that we currently own, and we don't have a fertilizer spreader. If we go back up to this icon here for tools, then we can scroll down here to fertilizer spreader. Select that, and we see several different fertilizer spreaders. This one here will spread either lime or fertilizer, and that's convenient, so we will pick this one. There are a lot of different options to customize this piece of equipment, but for now, we'll use it just as is. We'll cover how to customize equipment in a future video. So go ahead and select that one. You want to purchase $45,000? Sure, you can fetch your purchase at the shop. Now, where is the shop, you say? Well, that's a very good question. So if we hit our escape key, get into the map menu here, this area right in here is all of our farm. Everything under the highlighted area there is what we own. A few of the fields there, some of the equipment. Here's our silo. There's our house. And if we look up across the road here, there's a gas station. 
there is a fast food restaurant. And if we look all the way over here, this little basket icon is for the vehicle shop. And here is the fertilizer spreader that we purchased. So now what we have to do is just go over to the shop, pick that piece of equipment up. We're gonna have to buy some fertilizer to put in it, but that's no big deal. So let's detach this wagon, hit our Q key, and we're gonna head on over to the shop. On our way to the shop, let's touch on cruise control. Top left corner, control menu, number three, activates cruise control. So once we activate the cruise control, we see that number two and number one changes the cruise control speed. So one will lower our speed. If you look at the lower right hand corner where you see the big round speedometer, that's lowering the speed. And if we do number two, that picks up the speed. And then if we hit number three again, that deactivates our cruise control. And that's at just the right time because we are here at the shop. So back up to the spreader, hit our Q key to attach it, and then P for Paul to get back into the tools and equipment menu. Tab down to this icon, and we're going to select a big bag. Select that. We only really need one to get started, so we're going to purchase that one. $1,820. You can fetch it at the shop. Well, we're already at the shop. And all we have to do is navigate a little closer to this bag of fertilizer and watch the upper left hand corner. There, refill fertilizer spreader. I'm using my Xbox controller. That's why it shows that left joystick button. But anyway, we've got it loaded up. Let's head on back to the farm where we can spread a little bit of fertilizer. Go ahead and lose our cruise control again. Hit number three. Cruise control. Now, cruise control controls the speed, but it won't control the direction. See, so we can go all over the place. So if you're not headed in a straight line on cruise control, then you need to pay attention. So here we are back at the farm. It looks like our worker has finished their seeding. So we're going to pull in here and spread some fertilizer. Now, the fertilizer spreader as the name implies, will spread this fertilizer in a wide pattern. Until you see how big a pattern that is, it's just kind of guesswork. But what we're going to do is we're just going to get out of the way of the tree there. We're just going to hire a worker to do it right off the bat. So hit the H key. And you can see that's a pretty wide spread. It's pretty much all the way to the left side of the field, but it doesn't quite cover the whole field. So that AI worker will go down, turn around, come back. And we'll see that the AI worker turns around. And that's the beauty of the AI workers. They're more precise than we are. He knows exactly how far he needs to go over to get the fertilizer to spread all the way over to the right side there to at least cover the portion that's not been fertilized yet. See how it lines up there? Now, of course, we're wasting fertilizer on the left side there because this is a really small field and this spreader spreads pretty wide. But on a big field, it'll cover a lot more territory and you can get done a lot quicker. And there he's done. So what have we learned so far? Well, there's several processes for farming a field. Number one is cultivating the field, sowing the seeds, fertilizing the crop, and finally, harvesting the mature crop. Speaking of harvesting crops, we still need to unload this harvester. So we've hopped back into our wagon, pulled alongside here. So we need to hop back into the harvester and put out the pipe and unload the rest of the grain. Now, while that's happening, so hit the escape key and let's tab up to this menu here, our prices menu, we can see we're already on wheat and all of these locations over here will buy our wheat at all of these various prices. The Johnson's Farmer's Market here will pay us $831 per thousand liters, I believe it is. So we will select that one. If we hit the button down here at the bottom to tag this place, then we go back to the map view we can see this location here that's blinking, Johnson's Farmer's Market. So that's where we're going to go to unload our crop and make a little bit of profit. So let's tab back into our trailer. And we're going to head on up there to Johnson's Farmer's Market. 
While we're on our way to Johnson's, you can see that since we tagged the place, we see this big green beam that shows us exactly where Johnson's Farmer's Market is. So now we've arrived at Johnson's Farmer's Market. We'll pull around to the back. Pull right up here onto the grain and we will hit the I button to start unloading. You can see in the upper right hand corner, our money menu is adding up the money that we just got. $3,449. That's not a whole lot of money, but then we didn't have a whole lot of grain. So when you start looking at bigger fields, more grain, then you make a lot more money that way. But don't worry, as I promised before, at the end of this video, we're going to show you a way to make some money pretty quick. Let's go ahead and head on back to the farm. Put our cover back up. Let's look at one more thing here before we head back to the farm. Hit your escape key. Here is the map menu. Tab down one little thing here, and this is the worker menu. So if you look down here at the bottom where it says set destination, we click on that. And we've got this little icon here that we can put wherever we want to. This is our farm right here. And we want our driver to go back to the farm. So it's not a real precise sort of a thing. So I would not try to put it in here somewhere. I would just get him back here close. Let's uh, just get him back to the street here. So we click on that once. And then we just click one more time. And then look right up in here. Active worker is driving to the target. So that worker is going to drive right to this target. And there they go. You don't have to do anything with it. As you can see, I'm flipping my control around and I don't control him. He is on his own. And in a minute or two, he'll be back at the farm. Just one more way that you can use workers to do some of the work for you. Now just bear in mind that they don't do it for free. So if we go back into the escape menu and tab down here to our money menu, let's scroll down here a little bit to where we see wage payments. And so far our workers have cost us $465. This is your money menu that shows you where all your money's going. And here we are back at the farm. Now, before we get too much further along, let's hit the escape, jump into our menus here. This of course is the map view. This is our crop calendar, which tells us when we can plant and when we can harvest. Now the green are the planting seasons along through here. We're in August currently. And so we can plant these crops in green. And then later in the year, we can harvest all of these in this gold color. So as you can see, most everything gets planted in the spring. And then in the fall is when things are usually harvested. Next menu here, the prices menu. Of course, we looked at that before. The finances menu is where you can keep track of everything you're spending and everything you're taking in. Here again is our keyboard controls. And here's a help menu. Now the help menu has a lot of good information in it. Gives you information about crops, animals, things like that. Uh, some farming basics covered a lot of that information, but this is a little bit more in depth. That gives you a little bit better information about a lot of other processes. So before we get wrapped up, I promised you at the beginning of the video that if you stuck around to the end, I would show you how to make some extra money in the game to spend on anything you want to. So let's take a look at that real quick. The idea behind this is to sell off things that you either don't want or don't need. So let's start with equipment. If we go into our P for Paul menu here, scroll down here to where all the equipment that we own, there's some of the stuff that we just don't necessarily have to have. Weights really don't make that much of a difference on these machines. So if you select that, then you can sell it. We've got two weights on there. Let's just get rid of those. $679. Yes. Okay. We're going to sell the other one. Yes. We're only selling these through this menu because they are cheap. When it comes to more expensive items, you want to sell those at the shop. As an example, our pickup truck, it says that it's worth $20,799 if we sell it here. But if we take this pickup truck over to the shop, this is where we sell things at the shop. Hop out of the vehicle, come over here. And now this vehicle is worth $22,878. So all we have to do is hit sell. And we've sold it for $22,878.
So if we go back into the menu of items that we own, we can see that we've gotten rid of the pickup truck. Now we have three tractors here. I would find the one that has the most horsepower that's 190, 175, and 170. I would keep this one and sell these other two. So instead of selling them for 74,950 and 78,607, we should take them over to the shop. So this is one we're gonna get rid of. We want to keep the cedar for now, so we'll drop that off. You can already see that the weight is missing off the front because we sold it already. So we're going to take this tractor here, go into a menu here, set a destination. Actually, somewhere right in through here is where that cell place is. Get it there, and that guy's going to head over that way. There he goes. Hop into this other tractor. We don't want this one, so unhook it. We're going to send that one over there too. Set destination, we're gonna set it right behind there. And that one's on its way over there too. Now while those guys are headed over to the shop, if we go into our P for Paul menu, tab down to construction, then scroll all the way over here to demolish. We're gonna demolish some buildings that we don't want. We got a big barn over here. We wanna sell that barn for 50 grand? Sure, why not? Leaves a big hole in the ground, but we don't care about that right now. We can fix that. We didn't put anything in our silo, so there's less expensive silos. 58000 for that one. I think you can buy one a little bit cheaper there somewhere. So we're going to be selling all of our stuff, all of our crops anyway, so we will get rid of that one. Don't really need a shop since we got a shop right over across the street. There's another $25,000. And there are actually some cheaper houses too. If you wanted to sell this one for $75,000, then you could do that. You see, you're already up to $190,000 now, and we haven't even sold vehicles yet. So let's pull this one in here, hop out, come over here, sell that one, $276,000 we got now. Here's our other tractor, let's run over here, jump into it, get it inside that little area there. Get in here, sell it too. Now we're up to $358,900. So you get the idea. You can just do that by cheaper equipment. You can do everything you need with one tractor. You can't drive but one at a time. And if you hire workers, they cost you more money. So if to get started out, if you do most of the work yourself with the minimal equipment, then you'll make more money that way. There's a lot more to be done in the game, a lot more stuff to learn about the game, and that is all going to be covered in some future videos. Well, that wraps things up for now. If you received value from this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and ring the notification bell to be notified when the next video posts. Leave a comment down below to tell me what you liked or didn't like about the video and what you'd like to see in future videos. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.